Welcome to my first vlog on trombone playing and my thoughts on teaching trombone and explaining my thoughts and philosophies on music. Today I thought I would open up this series with talking about various aspects of tuning the F attachment on the tenor trombone. Now for those of you that have a tenor trombone with an F attachment, there are a couple different ways that we can approach this. And I want to make sure and kind of stress at the beginning of this that not one way is better than the other. And that I believe that we should try everything and see what works best and accommodates our own style of playing. The one thing I would ask that you avoid is simply doing something because a teacher or a great trombone player that we admire says to do it this way or that way. I prefer to understand and have a reason behind everything that I do and be able to explain why I do it that way. It's fine if people disagree or think it should be done a different way. That's what makes the world go around. But if you know why it works best for you and can explain it that way, well, then I think you're off to a good start and it will serve you the best in the long run. Well, for the most part, when it comes to tuning the F attachment, there are two different ways that we can approach this. We can either tune the F attachment to the note F, low F below the staff in the bass clef, or C, in, was it the second space in the bass clef. Now, personally, I like to tune my tenor trombone to the C. Now, I know what you're thinking. If you tune it to the C, that means you can't play the F in tune. And that's true. But the reason that I like to tune my F attachment to C as compared to F is because when I'm playing tenor, I rarely play low F below the staff. And when I do, many times I'm already going to be out in a further position, like fourth or fifth, so the reach to sixth isn't an inconvenience. But I'm going to play so many notes uh, in the upper range, so having the note C without me having to adjust from first position, for example, B flat to C or F to C, or the upper F going down to C, I don't have to adjust as much. Now, if you tune your note or you tune your valve to F, you do have to adjust for the C. Now, the advantages of this is that you can play both F and C in first position with the valve. The downside is you have to adjust for the C, and that's because the um, third partial, the C, is naturally sharp. So we have to pull out on the main slide just a little bit to get it in tune. So. Um, depending on what your philosophy is and you know how you play, I think you should experiment with both. Now I'll tell you from my own personal standpoint, I like to tune my bass trombone F attachment to the note F because I'm going to play a lot more notes um, below the staff than I am above the staff uh, with the valve when I'm playing. I should say above the staff, but uh, in the staff. And so for me, having both the F and the C available to me in first position is good. But on tenor, I don't need that, and I don't want to have the extra worry of having to micro-adjust the position as often in fast passages. So that's my philosophy on how to tune the F attachment. And if you have any questions, let me know. And this is my first vlog, and I would love to get any responses back from you guys to see if this is something that uh, you guys would be interested in hearing about. And uh, just carry on a, a, dis a discussion of trombone playing and the topics that I uh, mention in, the in these videos. So let me know your thoughts, and I appreciate you guys watching these.